Okay, so this is going to be a very in-depth video on how to put together the hydrofoil kit. This is how it comes. It comes with these five parts. All the parts are shaped, sanded, and ready to go. So all you really got to do is uh, just glass them, put them together, and no easier way to make a hydrofoil than this. The reason these dusty vacuum parts are in front of you is because you don't need a vacuum pump to put this kit together. The design works so that it can be hand laid. Um, so for the rest of the video I'm going to be showing you a hand layup. Uh, the techniques that I've come up with that work well. I know they work because I've been riding one for a while that uh, I originally hand laid. Um, I do use a vacuum pump just to make things quicker when I'm making a lot of these during the summer but um, you don't need a vacuum pump and, I, and I'm going to show you how to put it together without a vacuum pump. So, no need for the expensive vacuum pump on this build. Okay, so the epoxy I like to use is Resin Research. I like the fast hardening stuff. It takes about three hours to cure. Um, gives you plenty of working time. So that's the epoxy I recommend. Um, during this build I will also be using these microfibers um, for certain parts, especially when joining the pieces together. Uh, these aren't necessary, but they're very helpful. They make it a lot easier. Um, so I would recommend using these. And, you know, an issue is you can only buy a can about this big. And I've been using this can for about 20 foils so far. So um, instead of having you buy a lot more than you would need, is I'm, I'm portioning this up into single foil portions. Um, so that will also be on the website just to kind of help you out a little bit so you don't have to buy a lot more than you need and of course as always wear gloves um, the epoxy when it gets on your hand it's pretty hard to get off and also when you're working with a cured part I also recommend handling it with gloves because you don't want um, oil residue from your fingers getting onto your parts because then when you go to put your finish your, your finish and your final coat on that will give you some issues and it'll give you fish eyes so just for the most part when you're working with a glass um, piece always have some gloves on it'll make everything easier in the end and give you a better overall look so the glass I'm going to be using for this build is 3.7 ounce glass um, I get this from fiberglass supply this is commonly also known as 4 ounce glass but it's really 3.7 and I like to use this because it soaks through very easily and going around um, edges and curves it, it's pretty flexible and it can bend and hold those curves pretty well. Okay so during the build you're mostly going to see me put on the first and then maybe the second layer of fiberglass. Um, I'm not going to film every layer I put on because it's redundant it's just the same you just keep adding one after the other um, but I do outline exactly how many should go where um, and so when you get the kit, uh, sh this sheet of paper will come. It's just simple suggestions on how many um, layers should go on each part and how many layers are going in the joints. Um, so keep that in mind throughout the build. Okay, so we're going to start by glassing the wing. And here's the wing. Here's the curved side. We're going to start with the flat side just makes things easier in the end. So you take your first piece of glass, put it over the wing, get a good border around the whole thing, take some of the epoxy, and pour. And I'm just going to use my hands to make it easier and spread it out, completely wet out the cloth across the entire piece.
Okay, so now that it's wet out across the whole piece, I'm going to take my second piece, put it down, line it up just like the first, and this one's going to soak right through. Okay, so moving on to the rear wing, um, it doesn't matter which side you start because they're both curved. Um, so just pick a side and just like the front wing, lay your glass over, give yourself some room, pour some epoxy down. and then begin to spread, soak it through. And just like before, take additional layers, place them on, move them around, and soak those through as well. Okay, so both parts are now um, fiberglassed. When you add the additional layers, now we're completely done. Um, and it's good just to give a once over and make sure there's no dry spots and that around the edge of both wings um, all the layers are soaked through and they are on both these parts so with this epoxy it's a three hour cure time so now you just wait three hours and uh, on to the next step. Okay, so now that the fiberglass on the underside of both these parts has cured, uh, I went ahead and trimmed it. And um, there's many ways to do this. You have a sharp box cutter. Um, you can work your way around uh, pretty close. And then you can sand or um, a share form like this uh, also works great. Yeah, um, go around the edges, clean it up, and so you want to take that edge right down to, right down to the wood. Um, make sure you know there's no parts where it's jutting out, um, because that will mess up the uh, next layers that you put on top of this. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've placed these little um, blocks that I'm going to put this wing on. You can use anything really, just something to get it off the ground by an inch, a half inch, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, and that's so when you put this next layer on, you can get it to hang over. And that's going to be important um, coming up. Okay, so just as before, I've put my first layer down. And um, just as a last layer, we're going to pour some epoxy and soak it through. Okay, so now that that is soaked through, I'm going to take my next layer, put it down, and this is going to soak through as well. And it's really that easy, you just keep adding um, your layers as the uh, sheet specifies, it'll tell you exactly how many, um, and that's really all there is to it. Okay, so now we're going to do the exact same thing for the rear, rear wing. Line it up and pour. And 
And again, just adding additional layers, same as it always is. Just place it down. And then soak it through. Now again, it is important to make sure that you have um, the glass going around the edge is soaked through nicely. So just when you're uh, done, sometimes you can just um, when you see a dry spot, just drip a little and then go back and work it in with your, um, with your hands. Okay, now it's been a couple hours and this, these layers on the wing are almost cured. They're a little, um, flexible. And that's the best time to do this part, uh, which is to fill in all the gaps going around all the pieces. So just mix a little bit of epoxy. And pour from the cup right down into the gap. Just a nice even bead, best you can, around the whole part. And then... Um, once you get around, it's best just to take whatever stirring stick you're using and just make sure it's down in the seam where it should be. Now that I've been all the way around, just make sure. Okay, so I've gone around both parts, laid that bead of epoxy. Hopefully it shows up here on the camera. Um, but yeah, you can just, it's perfect how it is right now, but just to show you, take a mixing stick and just make sure it goes down into that edge. And um, this will fill any gaps. And it will also give you um, a solid edge of epoxy around the whole wing so when you finally trim this um, you'll be able to set a nice edge a nice smooth edge around the wings uh, it just makes everything a whole lot easier okay so the last time we saw these wings they um, had fiberglass all over and we had poured that rail and since then it has hardened and I went through and I trimmed just like the top layer uh, the first layers we put on I trimmed around and then um, work my way down close to the edge and I'm gonna zoom in a minute and hopefully we'll see um, see the edge that uh, we set around all the wing surfaces there is that nice edge that goes around both, part, both parts um, and that was from that bead that we poured earlier uh, so that is why we take the time to do that step because it really just makes everything easy crisp and clean and um, just two real handy tools well I really recommend having one of these you can easily do it without but um, this is my go-to tool it just really takes um, the fiberglass down and it kind of works as a plane you can really flatten flatten the edge out quite easy with one of these so uh, I recommend using one of these this is a really a great great tool and of course sandpaper um, when you get close to the edge with this stop don't overdo it with this because this can take off a lot real quickly and so when you get close take the time use the sandpaper and uh, really take your time make make sure everything is uh, perfect just how you want it and this edge is I mean it's maybe a millimeter and a half to two two millimeters um, that's really all you need you don't want to take it down to the wood obviously 
but you want to give yourself a little bit of room so if you eventually nick it later on um, you'll be okay and after you trim all that you might have a little bit of uh, that epoxy kind of just sitting on top um, like right here you might be able to see it I've already sanded a good bit of it down but it'll just kind of sit on top and again just smooth uh, smooth it out with some sandpaper and even this can work a little bit if you go lightly um, but yeah that is it these wings are done for now until we eventually uh, combine them with the fuselage and put the finishing coats on them.